Good evening, everyone. My name is John McCormack. I'm Director of Services with Kilkenny County Council. Um, I'd just li like to welcome everyone this evening to the seventh in a series of public information meetings outlining the role, structure and function of the new public participation network. As I mentioned, the Local Government Reform Act was adopted uh, quite recently and it outlines steps to enable local authorities to take all appropriate steps to consult with and promote effective participation of local communities in local government. One of the principal implementing provisions will be the adoption by each local authority of a frame, framework for public participation in local government mechanisms. By, these are mechanisms by which citizens and communities will be encouraged and supported to participate in the decision-making processes of the local authority. We are delighted then to have both Father Sean Healy, Director of Social Justice Ireland, and Charles Stanley Smith from the National Environment, Peter Whittles, here tonight, both of whom are involved with the Working Group on Citizen Engagement with local government. This working group was, was established in September 2013 under the chairmanship of Father Sean, and the role of the group was to make recommendations on more extensive and diverse input by citizens into decision-making decision at local government level. And the full report of the working group is available on the Department of Environment's website. We have been highlighting the main elements in this report as part of our public information series. But tonight we get to hear from those who are involved in the writing of the paper and who have a more in-depth knowledge of how things are meant to work. The public participation networks are an important structure for the community, social inclusion and environment sectors to be organised and to have a voice. It will only be as strong as those who are involved in it. Um, and th without any further ado, I'd, I'd like to invite um, Mr. Charles Stanley Smith to address you. Uh, I'm with the Environmental Pillar, where, where the last of the pillars of social partnership created in 2009, just before the whole social partnership fell apart. Uh, but it does mean to say that as part of that, the Environmental Pillar had the rights to nominate people onto various bodies around in the old days, uh, the county development boards, leader companies and the like. We have given up those rights to get involved with these PPNs so that uh, we can network with everybody and hopefully bring some elements of the future generation to uh, the well-being. But the most important thing probably they have to do is to define and really understand what the well-being is for their community. and. That should be a guiding vision for everything that the PPN does. And every time somebody represents the PPN on some board or something like that, they should be guided by this well-being statement. And a lot of you here that are involved in community, social inclusion, that sort of groups, are helping people to have a decent well-being. And that's all we're trying to say in a well-being statement. It's not that we should all have smart cars and big houses and all that. It is the basic needs for a decent life. <laughs> Basically, a society's well-being requires that economic, political, environmental, cultural, and social developments all be sustainable. And by sustainable, we mean that future generations aren't going to be harmed by what we're doing now. So this intergenerational justice is a very important thing that has to be promoted within this. We cannot steal from next generations. We cannot continue to steal from next generations. Unfortunately, I believe I come from a generation that has done that. We have, my generation has definitely stolen from the next generations, future generations. And I think that that has to stop. And even up until recently, a single person 100 years ago couldn't do much environmental damage. I mean, if you're armed with a pick and a shovel, you could really not do much. But nowadays, because of our technical prowess out there and our ability for bigger and bigger machines, one man with a JCB or a digger can cause tremendous environmental damage. So we have to understand how we can move back to living within the environment and not outside of the environment and continue to harm it. 
we have to understand that economic systems that we now rely on were all developed within the context of the social structures which were developed within that environment. So what we're saying is there is one environment in which society lives and which the economy then is within that society. We cannot go out and create another environment. As some would say, there is no planet B. So as, as I said, there's a huge disconnect between our capacity as humans to wreck the natural ecosystems and those natural ecosystems' ability to withstand abuse and the economic, economic systems that are driving their destruction. We believe that there isn't a, vi a vision but that a development of a vision needs to, of well-being needs to come from the bottom up. And that really should begin the search for a sustainable future for all members of the community. We believe that a shared vision is lacking at, natu at national level. And place that that shared vision should come from is the bottom. It should be a bottom-up one. And there's an opportunity while creating these visions for well-being that they form that bottom-up approach to a national view of well-being. In order to be able to support this and future generations, we have to take very serious consideration of those things. When we're looking at our well-being, we've got to look at things like environmental sustainability, housing, planning, uh, beautification, all sorts of different things that come into it. And these are things that we've got to think about as a community. So with that, I will leave you, as I hopefully, with a scene setting of what we've got to do from communities around the country. Every one of us has to develop this well-being and then hopefully be able to work together to actually provide it for this generation and for future generations. Thank you very much.